Hi, welcome to Crystal's Diamond Painting. This is Crystal. Hi. Um, if you're coming back, welcome back. If you're here for the first time, thank you for stopping by. If you haven't hit the subscribe and notification bell, please do so now so you can get notified each and every time I upload a video. Um, so earlier I did a video of some of the lace and lathe work pens that I have. Um, the thing is, is I missed two of the little gifts that he sends in his packages. Sometimes he sends them, sometimes he doesn't. Um, so yeah, I, I got distracted with this package showing it to you and then completely forgot. I apologize for that. But I wanted to show them to you real quick so you could see them because they're super cute. Um, there's this little diamond, which makes three diamonds that I have now. So if you've seen my other videos, you've seen those. If you haven't, you should look at those. They're good pens and cute little diamonds. And then this little flower. See with that background, if you can see it pretty good. It's super cute. I like it. Um, but anyways, I kind of want to jump right in this video. Um, some of my videos are a little bit shorter and some are a little bit longer and some are really long. Well, one is really long. And for those of you that were able to watch it and stuck through it, good job. And if you didn't, that's okay too. It's really long. Um, I almost didn't stick through it and that was me doing it personally. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. So let me turn this camera so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so there's that. And there's this. I guess I'm gonna need the scissors again. What shall we do first? What shall we do first? Hmm. I guess, but, oh, I don't wanna just cut into it. I don't know what's where. Me feel. Okay. I know what it is because, oh, let me start off by saying where I got this. Lays and Lathe Works. Um, he has a Facebook page that you can join, and then you can either message him directly through Messenger um, to order custom pens, or you can. Uh, go to Etsy and buy them on his pen drops. Uh, the one other way to buy them is through Facebook page um, auctions. And this is an auction that I won that I wanted to share with you. So let's start off with this. Now this came with the piece. Do you see it? Isn't that adorable? It's a little unicorn. I mean, I'm not huge in the unicorns, but this is super cute. Now I know you can make them into cover minders by putting magnets on the bottom. Um, I probably won't do that. I have plenty of cover minders, so I don't have a need for that. Um, but if you wanted to, it would definitely make a good one. Super cute. All right. That's even better than in the picture. Um, I know it just, it's not done justice in the camera compared to in person. It's just not. Oh my, be still my beating heart. Okay. Um, Lays and Lathe Works. Okay, you're not here for the card though. Let's get to the pen. Okay, I I guess when you win the auctions, you get the tips with them. Um, this one is a hybrid. It has the wood down here leading up to the botanicals up top. Isn't 
not the one of the most gorgeous ones you've ever seen. Oh, I'm just looking at it. And it's so pretty. All the little flowers and pieces inside of it. I think I may have a new favorite. I think just maybe. Look at that. Now it came with a three straightener. You use this in the diamonds just to scooch them over to make them line up properly in the grid. Um, so, well, okay, hold on. I think we need to kind of go over something real quick. So this wasn't really meant to be in this video, but I kind of feel like it's necessary because I have people going, well, what is diamond painting? Well, diamond painting is where you have a canvas and you can look at some of my previous ones. I showed, the ca I showed a canvas. Um, it has glue on the canvas. Um, it's set up in a, a grid type format with symbols, letters, or uh, numbers. Um, usually in different colors that correspond to different colors of little itty bitty plastic drills that look like diamonds, little rounded diamonds or square diamonds, depending on what shape you get. And you take a diamond pen, whether it be a skinny regular one that you get in a toolkit, and I'm looking around real quick to see if I have one, I don't. And, or one of these, you put wax in the tip, if it's a single tip, if it's a multi-tip, it means it has a place to put multiple drills in. And I'll just show you one. I'm going to show these in my next videos. You see there how they're indented, the waxes. You put wax in there, and then you set this down on the drills in a tray. And pick them up, and then you set them down on the corresponding spots on the canvas. And as you do that, they create a picture. Um, and you come out with this beautifully done piece usually. Uh, it all depends on the rendering and the picture itself, um, how much is in the piece versus how big the piece is. Uh, the more detail there is in a piece and the smaller the piece is, the less you're gonna have of detail that you're gonna see and the less you're gonna have of the picture, the more mud muddied and muddled it's gonna look, if that makes sense. The bigger it is, it can have support more images, more subject matter, if you will. Um, but anyways, when you're done, you can then frame it or hang it however you choose to, to take care of it or put it up, store it away, put it in a portfolio, give it away, whatever you choose. Um, it's a completed piece that you have done with a lot of time, effort, and love. And... Um, especially if it's something that you really like, you're gonna find yourself really enjoying the hobby. So, but I wanna show you this pen one more time. Let's come down here. Let's look at it one more time. And just so you know, these tips are interchangeable. Um, you can pull them out and put new ones in, um, stainless steel or um, different ones from straight pens. So if you order them without tips, that's no big thing. You can just put tips from your regular pens that come in the standard kits. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna grab one real quick. It'll take me a second. Wait a second. See how quick that was. These are what come in like the Diamond Art Club kits. And it's just a standard like looking ballpoint pen shaft with a little brass end. And that end is exactly the same as the end that we have here. It might be shaped a little different as far as like here, the production of it. But in the end down here, how they fit will be pretty much the same. If you ever get a tip, especially a stainless steel tip, and they don't fit in there very well, you put washi tape, which is a type of masking tape, 
around the base of it to put in to keep it, to make it a little firm. Um, the, some of the stainless steel tip companies can suggest also being able to put um, a dot of hot glue in there to hold them in. I, however, will not do that. Um, it runs too big of a risk of you breaking your pen when you go to pull it out. Um, just, it's not for me. I'll just wash and take those up and call it good. Um, this one, I believe came with a multi-placer too. If I remember correctly. I'm not sure if it did or not. Sorry, just throwing everything out of the bag here. Yes, it did. This is what comes in most of your standard kits. Now it just fits in the end there and you put your wax in there and then you can pick it up. But this one's better than a lot of the ones that come with kits because it's thinner here, the plastic. That means as you're setting the drills down, they'll fit in nicer and snugger. Um, so they're, I don't even know if that's a real word, more snug, um, so that there's no gaps and spaces in between and you're starting to overlap and having to use your straightener to push them over. Now you can also use this tip kind of turn and twist it off in this end. So as you see, they're interchangeable. So if you buy this pen you d and you don't have to worry about whether you have these tips or not, if you have them from kits in the previous past, um, you can just, or ones you just bought, you can just interchange them. So, but anyways, if you made it through the video, thank you, good job. And, um, I hope you're all doing well and you're having a healthy and successful life. I will see you in my upcoming videos. Please hit the subscribe and notification bell if you haven't already. Much love. Thank you for watching Crystal Diamond Painting. Bye.